In the last video, I made these two carabiners, but in order to finish off the Kickstarter, I need a total of five carabiners. My goal for today is to make three more. The only problem is I've already hit a snag. I started cutting this piece of titanium on my porta band, but as it got about an inch in, it just stopped cutting. My blade was dull and it would not touch the titanium anymore. The bad news is I don't have any other blades. The good news is I just bought a new bandsaw. So in order to cut the titanium so that we can make the carabiner, so that we can ship the pry bars, so that we can finish the Kickstarter, I need to assemble a bandsaw. It's all work. New day, and it's a sad day because I'm out of orange shirts. But we have Op Zero running on the second piece of titanium. The first one finished a couple minutes ago, and that one just finished. But before we can start machining, we need to make some quick tweaks to the fixture. The first time I machined these, it was really hard to get the carabiners out of these pockets. So I'm going to machine some little pockets in here that'll let me get a pry bar underneath the, the carabiners to pop them out. That went well, but it left a little bit of a burr on the edge of those pockets. So I'm just gonna run a program to clean up the floor. The first set just finished. Now I can break those out of their frame, move them to the OP2 spot, and load new material for OP1. Last time I made these, I had a hard time getting them out of the frame, but with these code revisions, I think it'll be really easy. Almost. I may need to use some gentle. To avoid some of the deflection issues we've had in the past, I'm gonna take these two eighth inch end mills and press them into the slots on the carabiners in OP2 to reinforce those walls. Oh yeah, that'll add a lot of rigidity. The first full batch just finished. And it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. So there's some pretty major burrs on that part and here that were not there before. And then also this chamfer still cut way too deep and I don't know why. It did that on the last batch too. On the bright side, putting that end mill in there as a spacer seems to have worked really well. The tabs cleaned up much better than last time. I have six of these carabiners made right now, which means I can finally finish the Kickstarter pry bars once and for all. This just came in and I'm super excited to open it. This is a Tormach Micro Arc fourth axis. This lets you rotate parts while you cut them so you can get to more than one side. There's really not all that much to it. It's got a three jaw chuck, there's a harmonic gearbox in there. Presumably there's a motor in there. It's got like, a, I believe it's an 18 millimeter bunghole. Then I also bought a stepper driver. I got this from Amazon. You can buy them from Tormach, but they're more expensive from Tormach. And a mounting plate from Saunders Machine Work. This will let me easily take the fourth axis on and off of my table. If you wanna see me set up and start making chips with this micro arc, I'll have that in the next video.